Alright, what is going on, you lovely ladies and gentlemen of the world? I just got done playing Pokemon Unite, so I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> it's so strange to me, I just don't understand it. Like, this is, it's so weird to see parallels between, like, how much I don't like Guilty Gear Strive and what they did to it, and other things, like, it doesn't matter. Oh, come on, this is how we're gonna start this shit off? And, like, he knew, too. Like, he knew right away exactly that this dude was AFK. Good times, man. It's a great start. Um, like, I was kind of, sort of... Because I know that, the, you know, like... Obviously, I have... There are different characters that I like versus characters that y'all like, right? But I know there are Kokonoi fans out there. Tempest Tim constantly i mean i don't know if he does anymore but constantly posting tech kokonoi tech in the blaze blue discord and like so it's like oh cool you know kokonoi you don't even see her too often there's a replay of a high level one and it's fucking bad but yeah so anyway like pokemon unite is pretty undeniably like one of the most casual games ever made it is so simplistic the characters are simplistic the map is simplistic the goals, the objectives, like how you're supposed to play the game, all of it is so simplistic. And yet, despite all of that simplicity, despite it being the one of the least complex, I mean, the least complex game in the entire MOBA genre, but just in general, so many people are still just so clueless and so unwilling to learn. And it's like... You think these people are going to be, you know, like, spending money on your game? You think these people are going to stick around and, you know, buy your season passes and stuff? Like, no, they're not. Like, why are you trying to appeal to them in the first place? Damn, oh, nice hit confirmed. This dude got knocked down to an orange square, by the way. The Kagura. So he got his ass whooped by somebody. He was trying to instant block him. I think he tried to throw. That couldn't have been a throw because it activated armor. Nice air throw. Speaking of. But yeah, whatever the Nautil tried to do, it activated armor. Probably just a 5A. Nice reaction. Instant jump back dash. Nothing Nauto can really do in that scenario except like if you hard call that out, you can dash forward and try to air throw them. Okay, got an overhead. This is a start, unfortunately. Ooh, drop the combo. Damn, he, I think he was looking for that. But he was just barely in range for it. Yes, Nauto's dropping everything, unfortunately. Nice block. Block the overhead too. Ooh, oh, first. They need to burst. I guess Nalto did just get active. Nice stagger. Really nice stagger. Guaranteed that he would be grounded, so he had to block overhead. He wasn't blocking overhead, because most people do down back while in the air. No punish. Kagura, all of Kagura's moves from that range are so slow. Can Nalto... Ooh! Oh, the difficulty of Nalto biting you in the ass. I mean, he's just really good pressure. Nice block. LDP? I can't believe he never tried to DP somewhere in there. That's wild, because he had 50 meters, so he could have rapid canceled it too, right? I can't believe he wasn't trying to DP. I wonder if he ever did. Because, I mean, that's something... That's one of the... One of the rare times when having inputs turned on would potentially be advantageous. But I kind of wonder if that TRM wasn't necessarily getting him to flinch and try to throw tech, but maybe it was like he attempted to DP rapid cancel. But he just got block stun, and so he didn't get anything. And then he just got TRM because he was the attempted rapid cancel. That is a potential scenario. It's just too bad that the inputs do take up so much space on the screen that it's just not and plus you're never really gonna pay attention to those right it's only after the fact that you'd look at that and so by that time the inputs are probably gone regardless so you know rewind function please thank you because <laughs> then it would be you would be like oh shit i wonder what happened there and then you could rewind it turn the inputs on real quick watch the inputs nice Good job. 
just for that one particular moment. But instead, if you did want to actually do that, you just have to start the replay over, come all the way back. Oh, it's another Kagura. God damn it. Why are there so many damn Kaguras in ranked? I don't, like, there are so many high-ranked Kaguras. It's not always the same dude. This is a different one right here. But I did get excited because I saw that Nikki, that's a name that I know from the olden times. I haven't seen it in a minute, so I'm very happy to see it back. Very one hit confirmed too. The falling JA to guarantee you got a combo off of it. Unfortunately, I got no damage. Nice block. I blocked your overhead. It's my turn. <laughs> the reward is a bit different for Kagura's overhead versus Hakuman's. Oh man, this Kagura's popping off a little bit. Let me sit. This justifies sitting up. Cut the ankles out from underneath. I wonder what button he pressed. The counter hit right there. I'm kind of surprised I'm not seeing more attempted counters from Hakuman. I mean, I know most Hakuman players generally. Oh, what a reset! And then he didn't tech. <laughs> he died for it. Got the burst at least, but still, what a terrible way to lose the round. But most Hakuman players, like, they almost never counter. And I understand why. Like, the counters aren't very good. I think they got nerfed in this version, right? almost across the board, which is just weird to me because it's not like the counters were overpowered in the first place, but still. Um, so they're not that great anymore in comparison to how they used to be. But still, you would think against a character like Kagura, who has such, such slow pokes, you'd see some more of them. Nice hit confirm. Kind of surprised he let that rock, though. Because I know in general you get far more damage. Um from canceling the first hit than you do if you let both hits go through. And that's actually one of Hakuman's highest damage. Honestly, like, you can't there because it's not meter. But that is one of Hakuman's highest damage routes. Nice DP. Oh, man. Nicky, don't... Oh, don't lose your comeback. What the hell? I didn't know that had a hitbox behind it. I actually didn't know that had... I mean, I knew it had, like, a really wide arc. I didn't know it had an actual hitbox directly behind Kagura. That sucks. <laughs> Smart for the Kagura, though, because that move is projectile invulnerable. So even if you cut the projectile, Kagura doesn't care. He's still going to go right through it. To be fair, though, I wonder... I wonder if there's a range, because I have no idea how didn't hit. I don't know how long the projectile invulnerability lasts, right? Does it last for the entire duration of the move? Does it wear off halfway through? This boy needs to stop getting his dome kicked in, cut in, smashed in. Nice I don't know we could do that. There's another thing that I wish I could rewind. I didn't, that was a 2C into a 2C, right? I didn't know Hawkman could do that. Overdrive, one of the few characters where that's actually extremely valuable to do. Oh, he's dead! He pays for that raw overdrive. He lost because of the raw overdrive. But yeah, like he get his meter gains gets so he gets so much meter from it that it's worth popping randomly. Same thing with like the doll characters, Falcon Hind, characters with meter that regenerates when they pop. Um, overdrive. It's also very helpful for them to do that. So like, I mean, if you're Relius or Carl, and you let your doll die, you're kind of hopeless without them, right? So it's actually worth... The same thing with Valkenheim not having Wolf Meter. So it's worth just spending that Overdrive to get that resource back, because that resource is more important than your Overdrive is. Or Burst. Yeah, this dude... I still can't remember what character. I know that he was a high-ranked player on another character, because I do recognize the name, but I can't remember who, but it's clear he's just not comfortable yet on Valkenheim, which I... I say anti here. Which I, I just... I will never blame anybody for. Valkenheim is very difficult to play. It's, it's the same thing with Takaka, right? They're both fun characters. They're both enjoyable to play, but... They're too difficult for... 
no return for that dedication that you have to put in to actually play those characters. Oh, a full corner to corner combo and it did 16. Nice counter hit. I mean, this dude just does. I mean, they butchered him too hard. Just a simple fact. Nice falling JC, though. Honestly, don't. I'm not sure if he can kill even with meter here. Okay, drop the combo anyway. But yeah, that would have been close. If that last hit had landed, I assume it would have gone into super from there. I don't think that would have killed. It just sucks when you see characters get swung around so hard the other direction. And this is just, it's kind of... I mean, honestly, I feel like anybody that has ever experienced, has ever stuck with an Arc System Works game long enough understands that they really, they're not very good at balancing the game. But it does just suck to see a character go from, like, undeniably overpowered. Undeniably overpowered on his initial release through Blaze Blue Chrono Phantasma. And then they just murdered him. Just, they just broke both of his ankles. And were like, try to fight now, motherfucker! And everybody, very predictably, was just like, no thanks. I'll go ahead and play somebody else. Same thing with Taukaka. It's just not worth putting in all that effort to play another Ka Like, look how many Kagura's! I mean, these are all the same ones, but still. That's too much Kagura! Relax! Play something else for a while. That was a bad start for his Tager. I think that was a Tager only route, too. What are you doing? Ragna has such good buttons and yours are so mediocre. Press button because Ragna. Nice backdash. Probably should have gotten punished, but still, nice back. Oh, we can't punish it though because 6A sucks! <laughs> if he had held it down, he could have punished it, but that's one of those scenarios. Like, you're doing a combo, right? If you hold it down, you drop the combo. So, unless you are trying to go for a hard burst bait, you don't hold down 6A there. What a beating. I just, whenever I see a new Tager that's a decently high level, I know I break my rule and I scope him out. It was a bad debut for this poor man. Can't blame him. This is me against every Ragnar I've ever fought, too. Okay, maybe not that bad. It's this scenario that I just don't know what to do. Except he's still not doing the good shit. Like, when the Ragna will just dash up and do, I think it's 60 and JD. Just over and, like, I am lost. But it's plus on block. So he just gets to keep dashing forward and doing whatever the hell he wants. Didn't combo. What? Like that, but I mean, that kind of pressure is similar. It's still not as good, but it is similar. And it's just... You have to make some kind of extremely hard read to get out of it. But even then, like, I don't really even know what kind of hard read you can do. I mean, that's a good hard read. <laughs> you probably should have seen that coming. Like, that was kind of his only chance to really win the match at that point. Was a 720. Well, we take those. Got cocky. Thought he could run the world. Forgot he was Ragna. Forgot he has no health. Second lowest health in the game, right? Carl's the only one with less. <laughs> if only he had magnetism. If he had magnetism, that was 5k easy. Does Ragnar get a percentage health back? I mean, that doesn't make sense. Because the combos do the sound like, oh God, he's dead. He's dead. Rest in peace. You were the better player, and you lost anyway. <laughs> Welcome to online Tager, bro.
This feels like on paper a really difficult matchup for Susano. He didn't wake up. I was gonna say like that Naoto gotta do it again. Let him know. And the, see the Susano should have done it again too. Neither one of them, like, they both got DP on their wake ups, and neither one of them respected it. And they're still not respecting the option. They just keep doing DPs. Let them know. Keep doing DPs, man. What are you doing? That's an anti here. Didn't hit the burner properly, though. That's gonna hurt. Not gonna be nearly enough to kill. Still, that is gonna hurt. Didn't get a boost for that. What? I guess that is safe, right? Oh, he did. Unless he bursts. Or unless the Susano drops the combo. That does say Kishin up top, right? I'm not blind. I'm not losing my sight. I'm not hallucinating. That does indeed say that these two players are two of the top ranked individuals on the leaderboard, on the ladder, on the rank ladder. And thus their gameplay. Okay, now this dude, now this now is actually popping off a little. Still drop the combo. They're broken through five, yeah. Nice counter poke by Susano. That was kind of a nice setup. That was cute. Could've gotten DP. But you should've I'm still gonna maintain for the entirety of this match. Both of these players should be abusing the hell out of their DPs because neither one of them are respecting the other one's option. I mean, that was super dead. Welcome to Nalto. Boy, got some of the highest damage in the game. That's a character. You want a character that takes a lot of work to get good at but that gives you significant rewards for doing so, look no further than Nato. He is exactly, you do get a very good return for your effort on that character. Nice five, oh, didn't drop the combo though. I want to see this Azreal, not, the, not that, I want to see this Azreal DP the Hazemo on his own wake up. He's going to keep mashing 5A. On wake up, that's the kind of, ooh, the weak points wore off right when he got a hit, that is unfortunate. That's more, I, I don't understand why people still to this day, nice, big. He's dead. Unless you completely fuck up the combo. Could have been dead again. Good pressure. Can't really get out of that. But... Right. Nice burst bait, dumbass. Doesn't have a burst. What are you doing? Just take the goddamn win. This dude does this dude's rank does say hero, right? Once again, I'm not hallucinating. I mean, for all I know, for all I know, I could be hallucinating. For all I know, that could say level one. And I've just gotten that blind these days. The worst part, too, is I can already see it. He's gonna win. He's still going to win. I feel it. I'm surprised that Hazma isn't doing the uppercut out of that stance, given that Asriel has shown that he has absolutely zero respect. Ooh, that sucks. But the Asriel's kind of shown that he doesn't have any respect. He got a burst. He got a burst. He could have made that burst safe. Or I think that would have killed. I mean, like, so you lose damage if you just do Growler during that, right? But you can. You can just Growler. Dash forward, growler, dash forward, growler, dash forward, blah, blah, blah. Over and over. And it's entirely person. I think he could have killed with that. Why do people still delay tech? Stop delay teching against Az. He's dead. Stop delay teching against Azreal. You can't do that.
I mean, this is shit people learned, people figured out within the first week of the game. See, I told you, it was that tilt from Pokemon Unite coming back in, right? You should know better! <laughs> this is simple, conceptual stuff. This isn't difficult. Oh, come on, man. What are you doing? Is that worth it though? I don't think that was worth it though. I think you should have just ended the combo on that same side with like 6B, 6B, 4D, something like that. Nice delay. Ooh, come on, man. If you're gonna go for that mix up, have faith in it. He's dead regardless, but still, like, have faith in yourself. If you're gonna run that kind of mix up, just be like, yeah, it's gonna work. I'm a boss. I know this is gonna work, and so I'm gonna. My next action. I'm gonna show that I got faith in myself, but no, he just stopped. He got the hit, and then he just stood still. Very nice. It's an absolutely free 360. I was kind of about to say, like, maybe you should consider doing 2C on your wake up. It would have worked. We got the counter hit. Probably would have forced out the burst. Aw, good rapid cancel too. He did. Because Tager needs to have more faith in himself. You cannot play a character like Tager without just going. I mean, you just gotta go full man mode, right? Be arrogant. Don't be confident. Be arrogant. Especially against a character like Susana. So I actually do think that Tager wins this matchup. And one of the reasons why he wins the matchup is because he can bully Susano like this. Susano's buttons are too slow and too clunky to be able to really effectively deal with Tager's mix-up, all of his options, what he can do to you. Seeing here, I mean, he's dead, right? Doesn't even need to use meter either if he doesn't want to. He did want to, though. Scope out the spin cycle, enjoy this. But yeah, Lee, it's really easy to bully Susano with Tager. And then it's also, it's the same thing as Asriel when you're, when you're on the other end of it, when you're playing into a Tager. You have to actually be, oh, it's another fucking Kagura. You actually have to be scared running your offense because your offense is full of holes in there. And those holes can be easily command grabbed. So you do you have to be wary of that. And so you can't play the way you would usually play. You can't bully people the same way. You gotta kinda change up your offense, and a lot of people don't know how to do that properly. So you abuse that as a Tager player. Well, that's the point. Abuse it, right? I was going to say, can he hit confirm that? That was a really awkward position. Spatches. Is this both of them flailing away? Ooh, that sucks. Because that was the armor, right? But Gen CDP is so slow that it outlasted the active frames of the armor. <laughs> what the hell? Why did that work? Why did you tech that? That does say Hades rank, right? <laughs> Been all three different ranks. That does say Hades rank, right? Can't even take a goddamn purple throw? Shit, I haven't eaten anything today, have I? I'm just, I'm sitting here and like my stomach actually hurts right now. And I'm kind of realizing like, oh, I guess I'm hungry. And then that other realization like, wait, I actually haven't eaten anything today. I actually, I shouldn't say that. I've had a protein shake and a banana. But that's it. It's now 1 p.m. I worked out at 5 in the morning. Came home, had a protein shake and a banana. Nothing since. I'm dying. You're gonna watch me wither away to nothing on stream. On stream, like I'm streaming this. 
I should be streaming. But that's the thing, is like, I want to stream fighting game shit, but... What the hell? Did he just stance cancel into that? That's his 5B, right? No, his 5B is with me. I don't know Kagura's moveset. But he stance canceled that, right? I don't know if I've... Maybe I'm just not paying attention. But I don't think I've ever seen a stance cancel combo. From Kagura. Pretty neat. I st every time I see that, man. Like... JC is one of the slowest moves in the game. You should be rewarded for counter hitting somebody with it, but no, they just instantly tech once they hit the ground. What a throw. Nice chicken block. Why doesn't he get rewarded for that? I just feel like the majority of moves, if you're going to get a counter hit for them, you should they should be set up in a manner that allows you to capitalize, to be rewarded for landing that counter hit, right? And yet, with that move, you just you don't really get much of anything. Damn, I actually have a lot of replays. I might just have to do two. Maybe I'd do that. I mean, plus, there's not a whole lot of interest that I've seen in... Uniclear, right? Which is very disappointing. I'm a huge fan of the game. But like... Boy, that last one. I think I only got like 100 views and 2 likes. Not a good ratio. So I don't know if it was just something that I... My own personal performance in the video wasn't good enough or what. But maybe I just switched to doing two Blaze Blue replay theaters a week. I don't know. Don't know. Also, another problem. I'm probably gonna talk about this in a Nate talks, not soon. But at least so Melty. Apparently, I was wrong. So they're gonna be the maids are gonna make up three characters. Like it seems like, as far as I can tell, both because they released a trailer for Fasui. I think if that's the name. For her individually, but before her individual trailer, they had the duo trailer as well. So like, are both of them their own? In there, because the other one hasn't. I don't know the other one's name. So I don't know if they're both going to be their own individual character on top of also being the duo, and so they take up three character slots. If that's the case, like that sucks. I shouldn't really say that sucks necessarily, because if you're look like, you can't really think of it as like, oh, this. The duo version of them took up somebody else's spot, right? Because I assume that the duo pretty much just uses the resources they've already used to make the individuals. Like, it didn't take them any real extra effort in terms of, like, creating different animations and stuff like that. Designing the character. But it still it is one of those cases where it's, like, it's definitely going to be judged by the kind of people that... I mean, the casual kind of people, right? They're gonna look at that and they're gonna be like, three character slots are taken up by two characters? Like, you could have diversified your cast a lot more and instead you have this going on? Like, that makes no sense and that kind of removes some of the appeal from me. Maybe I'll wait until the next version of the game, that kind of thing. But anyway, so there's that going on, but then also, it may... It, like, it's coming out September 30th, right? For some reason, it's gotten in my head. They're like, oh, that's only a month away. We're practically already there. I don't have to wait that much longer. But no, that's like two months away. <laughs> I have to wait a lot longer. <laughs> I don't want to wait, man. I just want to play. Like, where's the beta test, by the way? Like, they're putting out a demo for Tales of Arise. If Tales of Arise can get a goddamn demo, where's my demo for Melty Blood? I mean, especially you should be to like, all these other recent fighting games should teach you that you should stress test your game early and often. Because Guilty Gear still got problems, right? Especially with their lobbies and spectating and stuff, like, it has pretty significant problems. You don't want those on launch. 
This is really the match I'm gonna end with. Is a Nami versus Jin. My favorite character. That's rough. That's rough. No hit confirms good for him though. Okay, now she's in danger. She actually, yeah, she couldn't block that. Uh oh. Chicken blocking there was pretty silly when you have no barrier. Why'd she just stand still? It does say Hades ranked, right? <laughs> I mean, I guess that's my new shtick. That does say Hades, right? That doesn't say level 17. That says Hades. This person should be one of the better players in the game. But instead, they're gonna dash forward and stand still. They're gonna try to chicken block when they have no barrier. God damn, I need to eat something. That's all I can think about. Ever since I first noticed, like, it wasn't that bad initially. But then I took notice of it. And I was like, oh wait, I'm a little hungry. And now I'm a lot hungry. Now I could eat my goddamn desk. Stacker pressure. The patience by this gent. I like. Oh. I had to curse him. My bad, dude. I apologize for that. I'll just stick strictly to saying non biased things. Jin, you suck. This is an army of godlike. Best player in the entire universe. They definitely can't beat you. They're so phenomenal. They can have my firstborn child. It's an amazing Izanami player. One of the best in the world. That was actually kind of a sick combo. I don't think I've seen that route before. But this Izanami is definitely, definitely. God damn that damage! This Izanami is the kind of player that I wish I could be. The kind of player that I... Why did she recover so quickly from that? Oh, now you're stuck in the corner. Yo, it worked. The reverse caster curse worked. I did it. You're welcome, Jen. Now I'm gonna go eat in celebration. Hell yeah!